Hi there, in this video I'm going to be answering 21 popular questions that I get asked very often when it comes to how to use Pinterest to grow your blog traffic. Alright, if you are new here, my name is Ariola and I help bloggers to grow their blog traffic and to also monetize their audience. So if that's your blogging goal, welcome, you are in the right place. Alright, so how do you use Pinterest for your business and what should you get on Pinterest, whatnot? I'm going to be answering those questions. Before I do that though, just a few housekeeping. Number one is, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on that subscribe button to be subscribed. Also click on the bell so that you can be notified of new videos when I put them out. And number two will be, if this video helped you out one way or the other, make sure you click on that share button to share it out on your favorite social media platform. And the third and the final one is that, um, below this video, I'm going to leave a link, you know, where you can claim your valuable offer. Now, it is free. Alright, so let me get to your questions. The first question I get asked very often is, how do I use Pinterest to grow my blog traffic? Now, I do have a few videos on here about Pinterest tutorials. I have a video about, pin, you know, how to do keyword research on Pinterest and as well as, you know, uh, what popular categories, popular blog topics are on Pinterest. And I'm also going to be releasing another video about how to create clickable pins, right? Click worthy pins. Now, what you want to do is you want to set up your profile in a complete way. So you want to put, you know, a really beautiful profile picture. You want to put your keyword in, th in those 15 key places that I recommended in one of my videos. And you also want to write, you know, beautiful profile description. And the most important thing though will be you know creating content that your readers are looking for on pinterest search engine now in that video where i shared five different ways to do keyword research on pinterest i showed you how to also get blog topic ideas by doing that research so you want to go and create content popular content that people are looking for and that people will always look for and then you're going to go and write you know a really detailed um post and then create a beautiful pin so uh, that other video where I'm going to show you how to create click worthy pins will show you how to create pins that people will actually click on right for that you know massive and consistent traffic in a nutshell that's how you use Pinterest to grow your blog traffic so having a complete profile using proper keywords in the right places and creating you know click worthy pins and I have another blog post on my turning point checklist where I show you you know how to use Pinterest to grow your blog traffic all right and the next question I get up on is, um, will Pinterest work for my blog topic? So again, in that video where I shared, you know, popular categories on Pinterest, I shared also um, some popular and non-popular topics on Pinterest and, you know, the non-popular topics on Pinterest that are actually doing well. So again, make sure you check out that video and I'm also going to leave a link um in this video as well okay so and you can also go on pinterest and just put in the short tail keyword you know that your blog is all about and see you know how many other profiles are out there how many other boards are out there and see if you know if uh, pinterest will be a viable place for your blog and for your blog topic now the third question that gets very uh, similar to number two is uh, how do i know if my audience if my readers are actually on pinterest so is pinterest the right platform for my blog right or can i just stick with twitter or tumblr or whatnot right so again uh, in that same video i showed you uh, you know same video about popular categories i showed you you know uh, pinterest will tell you actually how many people are interested in a particular category so if you are in food and drinks history uh science and nature technology pinterest will, will give you a rough estimate of how many people are interested in that topic on pinterest right so again uh you can just go on pinterest.com slash categories and i'm also going to leave a link in this video where you can check out that video the next question is what are some popular topics on pinterest because you're probably thinking okay i want to start a new blog and i want to make pinterest my main traffic with our source so popular topics you know relates to anything that has to do with ladies right so ladies fashion kids and parenting weddings hair and beauty food and recipes uh food and drinks right architecture as well it's really big photography that's also big on pinterest right so again go check out pinterest.com slash categories it will give you a rough estimate of you know the number of people like millions of people who are interested in a particular category and in a particular topic 
So another question I get asked is, uh, what is the difference between a Pinterest business account and a Pinterest uh, personal account? So a lot of uh, bloggers I've talked to, you know, they use Pinterest for their own personal use, but they don't know how to use it for their own business use. And sometimes they will use a personal profile, you know, for their um, blog and they wonder why it's not working. So a Pinterest personal profile is, you know, it has just, you know, the basic feature, right? But if you want to get, you know, the full traffic generation, um, feature of of uh, pinterest you need to sign up for a um, business account because with business account you can actually see you know the exact numbers right so pinterest will tell you how your profile is doing how your blog is doing and like how many clicks you are getting to your blog right but without a, a pinterest business profile you're not going to get access to any data or stats or anything right and also you're not going to get all the full benefits all the full features that pinterest offers to help uh, businesses and bloggers to grow the web traffic right so you want to make sure that you set up a business account for your blog right, the other question i get is uh, how is pinterest different from instagram and even facebook so one thing to keep in mind is that pinterest it is a search engine whereas instagram and facebook are social media platforms so when you post something on on facebook or instagram usually you're only going to get engagement in the first few minutes or in the first few hours and then it's gone and then you have to keep posting every single day you know three times per day or whatnot with pinterest it is a search engine right so when you post something on there usually you know sometimes you know depending on your keywords depending on what you, your blog post is all about or your video is all about you usually have to give it a while for seo to catch up for you know for search engines to catch up and uh the good thing about pinterest is that you know you get a, you know a better return on, on investment and you get you know that long term and consistent clicks to your website right and also people go on pinterest to look for ideas right whereas on instagram or uh, facebook people go on there to be served you know ideas or content or whatnot right so it's, it's a very different um like completely different platforms another question i get asked is why should i use pinterest for my blog where already i'm killing it on instagram or whatnot right okay so one reason why you want to have pinterest and use pinterest for your blog is that you want to diversify your traffic source right rather than just putting all your eggs in one basket because there was a time that facebook was down so instagram went down everything went down right but at least if we can have you know uh, if we can diversify your traffic source at least you can do well so just in case you know there's something wrong with facebook or instagram at least you have this other platform that's still bringing you that clicks and traffic and also uh pinterest it is the only um you know uh it's it's uh, the only traffic referral source that's very easy to learn right much easier than google seo and you can use pinterest to quickly boost your blog ranking right it is very easy to get started on pinterest and again like i said pinterest it is a search engine so you're gonna get longevity you're gonna get you know a longer uh, return on investment on your pins on pinterest than for example on on Instagram or Facebook where you have to keep posting. Another question I get asked is how do I get more followers on Pinterest? How do I get more followers? So to get more followers on Pinterest, so Pinterest it's not really about you know the number of followers but really the number of clicks you are getting to your site. But you know but obviously the more followers you get then that means you know you can quickly drive you know traffic and you can drive more traffic to your website. So to get more followers on Pinterest again you want to create valuable content that your readers your your followers are actually looking for on Pinterest and that's that's an easy way to get followers just creating content for your followers. Another question I get, number nine is, um, so do followers matter? So this is another question that I get asked, you know, quite often. Do followers matter? Yes and no. Yes, you know, uh, for the fact that, you know, the more followers you have, then, you know, you can drive, you know, like more traffic to your site. And no, in a way, in a sense that sometimes with my Pinterest profile, especially for my hair blog, sometimes I might get a lot more followers, you know, I might get, you know, like, let's say, uh, 500 followers in in one week but still it doesn't make any difference on the traffic to my blog right so the tenth question that i get asked very often is how do i grow my pinterest page views now you might have seen on pinterest where you know you're going to find a lot of bloggers talking about how they grew the pinterest page views by a million or two million five hundred thousand within two weeks or whatnot so 
to grow your pinterest page views it is really easy all you have to do will be to post high valuable content that your readers are actually searching for on pinterest now the one way to do that again will be to use those keywords that you did you know when you did your keyword research again i'm going to link to that video as well you can go and pin popular pins in your niche so what you can do is you know just go again put in that short tail keyword and whatever pin that comes up first or the first 10 pin will be well more likely will be popular pins and then just repeat them you can also go on you know pinterest influencers page on your uh, in your niche and pin their popular pins as well as a way to quickly boost your pinterest page views the uh, 11th question that i get asked often is what is the difference between pinterest page views and blog page views so with pinterest page views it adds up every single pin you have on your profile your boards everything it doesn't matter if it's your pin or somebody else's pin now the monthly page views it's also the same as impression that's you know the number of times that somebody saw your pins on uh, pinterest again that includes your pin and other people's pins that you you know you paint on your profile now again it doesn't matter if they clicked on that pin or not pinterest will count it as an impression now your blog page for you to be you know whatever traffic you get from let's say pinterest from google from instagram or from from other places Right? and you know the best way to you know to find your blog page views would be obviously to go to google, google analytics and check your stats or you can always go to your blog dashboard and you can get those those numbers uh, the twelfth question I get asked very often is, um, so I get a lot of uh, Pinterest page views, but it's not translated over to my blog. So you know, on my Pinterest uh, profile, I get five hundred thousand monthly page views, but on my personal blog, I only get five thousand page views. What is going on? So like I said earlier on, so Pinterest page views, it's you know the total number of impressions. On, on your Pinterest profile. So the number of times somebody saw your pins uh, and other people's pins that you pinned to your profile, it doesn't matter if they clicked on it because you know pins will be served to them when you do a search on Pinterest or in the boards they you know that you know they have on their profile or on their smart feed, right? So Pinterest adds everything up. But the uh, the difference between that and your page views and the reason why you're not getting you know a lot of traffic and it's not the same is because you know you're only gonna get that click that traffic when somebody actually clicks on a pin. So to increase right uh to increase your blog traffic you have to make sure that you are posting valuable content and you are designing beautiful click worthy pins that somebody will actually click on to go to your website all right so the 13th question i get asked very often is how do i create pins that go uh, that will go viral so to do that you know you need you know very vibrant uh, images so that's that the colors the stock photos you use the font style and um, and also you need to make sure that your pins they are optimized for Pinterest now um, you can use Canva canva.com to design your pins now on canva.com you're gonna find two templates one will be a Pinterest template the other one will be an infographic template so to design your Pinterest cover more likely you're gonna be using the Pinterest um, template and that's optimized for Pinterest so you want to use the right size and you also want to you know test out different colors uh, font styles visuals different templates and also um, Canva has you know many templates you can use to you know test things out and again i'm going to be creating another uh, video and when i do that i'll link it up to this video where i show you how to create uh, click worthy pins and the 14th question i get asked very often is how do i get more clicks on my pin so to get more clicks very similar to the previous question you need to you know design click worthy pins so what are click worthy pins click worthy pins are pins that somebody actually want to click on also you want to put really strong calls to action right such as read now right click now uh get more or whatever so de uh, depending on what the, the blog post is all about right so you want to put some sort of a you know strong call to action again in my current push your blog i explained how to you know design those click quality pins so i'm also going to leave a link below this video where you, where you can get access to you know highly converting pinterest 
template so another question i get is um how many boards should i create right so usually i recommend at least 10 boards at the very beginning and you can add more boards as you go along but if your blog topic it is if it's very specific then there's no need to create more boards because what you can do will be to create board sections so for example let's say you are a fashion blogger right so you probably have a, a blog for uh spring fashion and then another board for winter fashion fall fashion spring fashion right and then and then you can create board sections right and then the board sections will have different styles right uh, so for winter it, it could be jackets coats leggings jeans or whatnot gloves hats right you know under that one board and another question i get asked very often is how many group boards should i join so that that's going to depend on your niche so there are some niches out there you know that you know they have a bunch of group boards so you can join high quality group boards group boards that people are actually engaging in and it has a, you know a high repin rate engagement rate and one way that i'm able to test to check that to make sure that a group board is actually engaging is with tailwind right so tailwind will tell you you know which boards are you know engaging and which which boards are actually worth your time again i'm gonna leave a link where you can sign up for tailwind and get you know the first 30 days free and then the 17th question is you know uh what is my opinion about tailwind tribes so tailwind tribes i've heard so many things about tailwind tribes about the fact that you know a lot of bloggers have used it to pretty much explode the blog traffic now it depends on the niche you are in so for my uh, main blog I, my natural hair blog tribes and group boards even they don't really work much for me because my my profile was doing so well before i even joined group boards and tribes right so and also there aren't you know there aren't that many tribes for the natural hair niche right so but the best way that i've been able to you know drive you know a lot of traffic from pinterest is mainly using the proper keyword designing beautiful pins right designing clipboardy pins because there's no point you know uh designing pins that aren't clipboardy writing blog posts that nobody cares about right because you can join so many tribes group bots or whatnot but if you are not writing a post that your audience are looking for and your pins aren't clipboardy nobody in the tailwind tribe or nobody in the tailwind tribe or in a group board will share your content so that's why i always recommend to beginners to maybe join group boards after three months or so right once they've figured out you know how pinterest works or sort of company works or sort of blog posts to write about right because at the very beginning don't even bother about tribes or group boards the first thing you need to worry about will be just writing those high quality blog posts and using you know the proper keywords uh, and then i'm often asked so this is question number 18 should i pin manually yes at the very beginning even you know afterwards you want to pin manually and the reason for that is especially as a beginner you want to learn about how pinterest works right you want to find you know popular pins and the best way to find popular pins will be to physically go on Pinterest and do your research to find those pins so what I do is because I usually go on Pinterest you know pretty much every day to check out my profile and to upload things or whatever and so while I'm there while I'm on Pinterest I would just post and I would just repaint or paint whatever thing that Pinterest is showing me because because if Pinterest is recommending a pin to me, it means that pin is getting a lot of engagement and Pinterest wants it, you know, to get more engagement. So I'll just pin that pin to my board to write again as a way to you know to boost my Pinterest page views. The next question, question uh, question number 19 will be um how many pins should I pin per day? So again that depends on your niche, that depends on you know uh, on your goals really your blogging goals. So sometimes you're gonna read some blog uh, some blogging tips or Pinterest tips where they recommend pinning 50 times per day, 100 times per day. I don't believe in you know posting that many times per day, right? Because what you need really is just you know posting high quality stuff. Because if you're paying you know 50 times per day or whatever, and your pins really aren't getting in a lot of engagement, then there's no point. So for me right now, for my for my natural hair blog, I've settled on 30 pins or so per day, right? Because I've tried things out: 10 pins, 20 pins, 40 pins. 50 pins or whatever. I've noticed is that it doesn't really make that much of this difference on 
my blog traffic right so i just settled on 30 pins per day and that way i get you know i have it i have enough content to share for a longer period of time but the 20th question i get is what is the ratio that i should be pinning between my pin and you know other people's pins so at the very beginning you know because you are still trying to figure out how pinterest works you want to boost your pinterest page with numbers and just you know try to do some research on pinterest then i'm going to set the very beginning maybe pin you know three three to two right or four to two so meaning you know uh so you pin two of your own pins and three of, of other people's pins or two of your own pins and four of other people's pins right so you want to have like um a 40 60 ratio right so 40 percent your own and then 60 percent of other people's pins and so once you figure out how Pinterest works, then you can, you know, bring up your own number, right? So it could be, so you could pin, you know, more of your own pins and less of other people's pins. Because remember again, uh, you know, uh, your goal is to drive traffic to your blog and not to somebody else's blog, right? Because if you're pinning a lot more pins from other people's pins, especially more established uh, bloggers, what you're going to get is, you know, you're going to notice that your Pinterest page views is very high, right? Because obviously those guys have, have mastered Pinterest, they know what works, they know how to optimize your pins. So you're going to notice that, you know, your Pinterest page views will be really high, but your blog traffic is still low, right? Why? Because you are pinning more of other people's content and, and less of your own right but at the very beginning you know you want to pin more of other people's pins you know just to you know boost your pinterest profile and uh and get things going but over time as you create more content you create more pins then you can pin more of your own pins and less of um of other people's pins as well so the 21 the 21st question so number 21 is you know what are the best pinterest app that i can use to schedule my pins so i personally use tailwind and tailwind has made it so 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 easy for me to be able to schedule months right like three months four months sometimes even up to six months worth of content right uh you know and then i have stuff going out you know every single day and like i said i have you know i scheduled 30 pins per day and usually every time that i write a new blog post i will just go create my pins and then just add it again so tailwind and then shuffle my pins right so that you know i can get you know a mix of of uh, of clicks to you know to the different blog posts that i have on my blog so i'm going to recommend to check out tailwind and you can also use tailwind to you know to post to your facebook page twitter page and instagram as well right so you can just use that one to you know to schedule your blog post to your social media profile so again i'm going to leave a link below this video um where you can try out tailwind but i'm going to let me just tell you that you are gonna love it all right guys so i just i just answered 21 popular questions that i get asked very often about how to use pinterest to boost your blog traffic now do you have any other question that i did i didn't answer in this video leave it below this uh this video in the comment section below and as usual if you haven't subscribed yet you know again click on that subscribe button and if this video helped you out one way or the other do me a favor and just click on that share button and share it out and again don't forget to claim your valuable offer below this video all right take care and i will see you in the next one